unmute myself. Well, there we go. Hey, I was muted. So, so let's try this out again. So I'm going to go over this graphing speed quiz homework assignment because uh, you really need the help. Um, some, you know, if you figured it out, um, excellent. I'm very excited for you because uh, I, on one level, I always love giving my students a challenge, but um, sort of, I'm not going to count it against you if you were just completely flummoxed and bamboozled. Okay, so Mr. Hansen left home at 7 a.m. to travel 45. So we have some key things here. So 7 a.m., travel 45 kilometers to BMS. So there's our destination, home. He arrived at 7.30 a.m. Once he got to school, he realized that he had forgotten the objects of his lesson plan and turned around and drove home to retrieve them. So now it's turned around and he's gone in the opposite direction. Driving like a wild man, he returned home in 15 minutes and spent 15 minutes looking for his history items. So returned home in 15 minutes, spent 15 minutes looking for his history items. After finding the items in question, Mr. Hansen drove back to BMS. So, oops, let's get rid of that. Drove back to BMS and he arrived at the bell at 8.30. So let's, <clears throat> let us fill out our data table here. Now, this is one that always throws people, but uh, there's a zero. So Mr. Hansen, before he left home, he hasn't, he hasn't moved anywhere. So there's always, always, we have our time zero. That you forgot about that, huh? Those of you that gave this the old um, quality attempt. Just throw them in right there for right now. One of them's actually an NA because you can't have a change of time. Both of those NA. In fact, do that right now. Because at time zero, you can't have a change. You know, there's there's been no nothing that's happened. So for N A. There we go. And number two, N A. Beautiful. <clears throat> so first leg. It's a, you know, one way of uh, communicating uh, a travel uh, itinerary is in legs. That's so. That's where that term comes from. So seven a.m. Travel, to travel 45 kilometers to BMS, he arrived at 7.30. So left at seven, arrived at 7.30. So we know that's 30 minutes. So it took, this first leg took 30 minutes. And his position, you know, in position starting out at home, he's at zero. You know, if you're thinking in terms of, again, say, uh, in graphing and on the number line, we're starting position is at zero. And so we go 45 kilometers. Ooh, that's off of four. But there we go. We said I don't have to write the kilometers. Okay. Now, how how far, what, how, what, what distance has Mr. Hansen traveled thus far? Well, it says right here, 45. 45. Now this is change in time, delta T change. That stands for T, the delta. So change in time. So 30, and when you're doing that, it's always from the previous. So 30 minus zero is 30. So there's our change in time. Change in position, delta X. So 45 minus zero. 45, there's our change in position. Okay, so now he turned around, realized he drove home. So the second leg was driving home. 
and the time it took him, it took him 15 minutes, but this is a, it doesn't, again, this is, there's so little information on the page. This is a summative column. So we're gonna take, it took him 15 more minutes. And so we're gonna add the 30 and the 15. And so at leg two, we're now up to 40, five minutes have elapsed. His change in position. Well, uh, he drove home. So he went, he is now back at position zero. Bet you th threw that, that one through you for a loop, eh? Um, the elapsed time, well, 40, we already know it's, it's like right there, but we can see the change in time, 45 minus 30, 15. And we know it's 15 because we said 15 minutes right up there, but this is the mathematical way of proving it. Change in X, so zero minus 45, that would be, if I do my math correctly, I always am scared because of all these things, math is one of my, uh, you know, my, my I question myself the most. So distance. Now, how far has Mr. Hansen traveled? Well, he went from home to school, 45 kilometers, and he went back home. So that's another 45 kilometers. So here, this distance, this again, kind of like time over here, this is going to be a summative column. So we're going to say 45 plus 45 or 90. Now, he spent 15 minutes, so leg three. This is again, this is a sneaky one there. Leg three, another 15 minutes, so 45 plus 15, I know that's gonna take me up to 60. Um, position, has his position changed? No, it's still at zero. Change in time, well, 60 minus 45 is 15, and we know it says right there, spent 15 minutes looking, so another 15. Change in distance, um, well, has there been a change in distance? Um, no, so, you know, we're gonna write here, zero, zero change in distance. Uh, and right here, summative column, no change in distance here. So we're just going to say still 90. We're still at 90, 90 kilometers of change in position. Oh, and then he drives back to school. So here we need to add a four down here for ourselves. And we know that it's 45 kilometers. So now he's back to 45, change in position, 45. Uh, 8.30, so he arrived at 7.30, 15 and 15, that's 30 minutes. So now we're up to eight o'clock and 8.30. So that was 30 minutes, getting, driving to school. So 30 plus 60 is 90. So those are 90 minutes. Change in time. Well, from in 7.30, 7.45, 8.00 to 8.30. So that's change of 30, 90 minus 60, 30. Change in X. Well, he went from home, his zero position, to back to school, 45. So there we have a 45. And we're gonna add 45 to 90. 
And that's, uh, I believe, 135. Oh, my goodness. We have... We have Whoopi Goldberg in the house. Okay. Construct a position. Construct the position graph by labeling the X and Y axis with the appropriate information, then graph the data. So time is going to be on the X axis, time. And this is 20 by 20, if I remember correctly. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So, and let's see, what is our time? Our time is 90, so um, 20 squares. Hmm, so what, let's see, 20 times, well, we want this to be like up to 100 minutes, so five, so right, so five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 55, 70, 75, 80, 80, 80. yeah, so time, one, square equals five minutes. There's your scale. One square equals five minutes. So you can number number your squares. I'm not going to do that. I'll, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to go like this. 10, 20, 30 and so on. It'd be a lot easier if I was using pen my pencil and I'm using this mouse. So I'm not going to number the whole thing for you. Now in the same way, let's see if this is position. Well, 45. That's the, 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 the you know, that's your range from zero to 45. You got 20. So in the same way, you could just go, let's see. Position. Oh. Position. One. Squared equals five. K M ten twenty. 30, 40, 50. And that should take care of us there because um, our greatest position, and we're pretty much using almost half the graph that way, and we're going that way. So there we go. Then you're going to go down here and set up distance versus time. So that's going to be distance here versus time. And again, Time is in the x-axis, time. S same, one square equals five minutes. One square equals five minutes. Now here in distance, this goes up to 135. Well, if I just go 150, divided by 20 or 15 divided by two, uh, seven 
Uh, yeah. So you should do this. <clears throat> Distance. That looks more like a P. Hold on a second. That'll bother me. There we go. This. <laughs> Distance. One square equals simple one ten. Oh, my goodness. Boom. Ten. Kilometers. There you go. And then you got your three questions here to answer, but uh, uh, there you go. So this right here, this is what's critical. See now, if you freeze the screen, you can copy this down for yourself and hopefully this will make sense. But this is a sum. And hopefully we know that triangle equals change. And this is a summative column as well, as in like distance, comma, total. And then position, this is always relative to um, an origin point. So we're always, how far away are you from the origin point? Okay, so hopefully this helps. Um, I shall stop recording first. Let's see, let's do that. Ask me any questions in class, but you need to, uh, I'll, if, I will be referring everybody to this. I'll say, hey, check my uh, instructions. There we go. So stop recording.